5,000 metres above sea level in one of the world's highest and driest deserts. The Atacama Large Millimetre Submillimetre Array, or ALMA, is set to provide a previously unseen view of the universe. The 66 radio dishes act together to make it a hundred times more powerful than any telescope of its kind. The altitude and dry conditions are ideal for observing a particular frequency of radio wave. This is a much longer wavelength of light than we can see with our eyes, longer than the optical wavelengths. This means that we can detect things that are not even visible to optical telescopes. And this is advantageous for a number of science projects. The telescope will allow researchers to view the formation of stars and planets, even galaxies created billions of years ago. Well, the image we have here, one of the telescope's first, shows a pair of distorted spiral galaxies about 70 million light years away. The telescope can also be used to examine the makeup of objects in space, identifying individual chemical molecules. We are after the elements that compose the universe, each molecule, each atom. Those elements have radio frequencies, which is what the antennas will capture. The $1.3 billion project is a collaboration between countries in North America, Europe and Asia. Once fully operational, there are hundreds of scientists wanting to use it. We have got 919 proposals, so covering all kinds of uh, aspects of, of astronomy from objects in the solar system like uh, planets and moons, and molecular clouds and galaxies. So it's a little bit of everything. Researchers say the ALMA telescope is perfect for examining clouds of space dust and in them Earth-sized planets. Their new set of eyes, they say, will give them an unprecedented view of the universe and with it, a better understanding of how it's evolved. Tarek Vasley, Al Jazeera.